Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. Got a good one for you today. We're going to hashtag Bowl Week. You know, BBS Live, they got that going on. It's kind of always Bowl Week for me, but we're going to jump on in BBS Live over on Instagram Thursday nights. Nate and Melly Mel. Melly Mel and Nate. All right. We are using... The Shaving Grill from Saponificio Veracino. I hadn't used it in a while. Uh, got it in a trade with Chris Maiden. He said this is one of the ones that luckily doesn't leak because evidently there's like a gasket problem with a few of the runs and the lather would come through. Not an issue on this one. And, oh, Smiles for Miles, um, the Razor Company Commission brushes. Got a little lather on the handle, but that's all right. Let y'all look at it. Enjoy the color. This was sent to me as a promotion from Jason, and I greatly appreciate it. Let me set my razor down. Don't want to mess up the edge. Show you all that in a second. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and lather up, and then we'll talk about the razor. I was going to show you, but we're going to do it. Oh, you want to know what soap I'm using, don't you? So, we are using Barbus Sport, and this has chlorophyll. If somebody wants to, you know, BS me down there and tell me what chlorophyll does for my skin, um, I'll probably believe it. So, let me know. Tell me in the comments below. We got a pretty decent lather, in my opinion. And, uh... I do like this brush, at least. I'm very big on the color. Synthetics all right. If I was face lathering, I wouldn't like it as much. It just doesn't splay. But for bowl lathering, it does really well. Because if it doesn't splay as much, when you're bowl lathering, it kind of gives it like that horsehair effect. So it picks up the soap really easily, which I didn't need with this cream, but whatevs. Because sometimes when you press it down in the bowl, when you got a harder soap, it's nicer to have something a little stiffer, a little firmer, like boar's hair. Um, it's how I'm feeling lately. But that's just me. So guys, I will put up a clip like right now. This is what the straight razor looks like. I'm not going to be able to do it justice, and I don't I don't have the case in here, and I don't want to show you. So we have got an extra hollow barber's notch case cutlery, original scales, original lead wedge. This is tortoise, by the way, and it is, you probably can't tell, but do y'all see like the little cracking in it? It's... They're good, but John June's like, dude, I want, I want you to try out my new edge. Send me a couple of razors along. This is one of them. It's got a little bit of a patina and a little bit of rust right down here at the hinge pin. But if I try to take these scales off, they're... So we're not doing it, but it's awesome little razor. John June honed it up for me. We're going to give it a shave. Well, I missed some of my face with lather over there. Oh well, we'll shave it anyways. I don't need to get better at straight razor shaving. My skills have faltered. And John did tell me he did not strop that Ace of Spades. So, this one I stropped a hundred times. I went to my linen, or flax, or whatever it was. And, uh, yeah, linen, whatever the uh, material was, hemp. Say 20 times, 
And then I just finished the other 80 on English Bridal. Made by ILR. Navy blue one with the uh, boa grips for the handles. That's pretty much my high end straw. And as for makers, Dry it on my neck a little. Should have added more water. I thought I added so much water though. I need to get better at talking with a straight razor next to my neck, you know? Oh yeah. I don't know why. It was fine on the face, but the neck got dry really fast. It's kind of odd. Set this down. We'll add some water because this may be drying out over here. And I'm taking my time. We're going to try to go without cuts today. Although look. I felt like I hit something through there, so we shall see. Very nice. Those lines right. Touch up the little stray hairs that come through there. I don't know what it is about I just have these constant little ones like right here. Now I did kind of miss a lot right here. I think it's just because I left it hollow. I need to get better at stretching that area. It's like that skin has changed on me a little. That makes sense. I'm getting older. My skin is changing. I'm just going to add a lot more water to this because I've been sitting and talking. But I didn't have as many issues with my neck with the straight razor, at least. It's just becoming a problem lately. You know? I need to figure out what my problem is. Did I just bloop in my bowl? Perfect. There we go. Can't stand all that soap on the handle, man. Bugs me. All right, back to it. Extra hollow with the barber's knot. American steel. I'm starting to think the bevel angle may be a little off on this. Very nice. I'm loving it. 
that felt really good through there actually. So. Like look, it's just this little area right there constantly. That's why we're busting back out the straight razor more. I hate that I'm not as steady as this. I should be with this left hand. Just need to be a little bit more steady. Yeah, we're moving super slow through there. Super slow. Woo! Got a little scarred. So guys, we're going to stop for a second. I'm going to go and strop this again for the pickup pass, just because I think it needs to be stropped. Be right back. And we're back, guys. Stropped it 40 more times. Just wanted to get it keen for this neck area down here. I've already cut it up, which has been a constant problem lately. But we're just going to try to get a little closer in some areas that I feel could use it. Got to rinse that brush handle again. Brush handle being soapy is a pain in the... Just can't stand it. There we go. Plenty of slickness. And let's talk about the Barbas Sport Cream. Guys, it is a very uh, shower gel. Type scent. Uh, fresh. Okay. Nothing coming off here. Just a little bit. Y'all probably can't hear anything. And then we're going to go. But yeah, you know, like a gym frag. Not gym frag as in performance, but just a clean fresh scent. Maybe even something like, if they had a matching aftershave for this, an office scent, office frag type scent. So we got some stuff through here, but we talked about it. There we go. Nice. All right. Rinse the finger or dry the fingers. Rinse or dry the blade. And get between the scales. Nothing so far, but we're gonna leave it open over here on the camera. 
without the edge touching anything. There we go, and we are back. All right, guys, so I'm gonna rinse up. A ton of lather left here in the bowl, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, and we're back, guys. So I don't know, man, I just need to get better. It seems like always right here, it's like a few little spots that always get nicked up, and they're like little, no matter what I'm using, and even like with the straight razor just now, I was like, I was going slower, making a shallower angle, slowing it down, and still, like a jackass, getting irritation. Need to figure something out. So, uh, Hazelette's Apothecary Soul or something. I, I don't think you can get this anymore. I did shake it up. It's one of those. Which hazel based scent doesn't really last. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of changing. I'm enjoying frags. And I don't want anything to interfere. The next day when I put a frag on. So I don't want something that may last all day. And there are some scents that, you know, are aftershaves that will last on me through the night. I smell them when I wake up. So this one won't. Now, like, if I use my Obsession by Calvin Klein Aftershave, I'm committed to Obsession the next day. I could shower, and I'm still probably committed to Obsession that day. It's just, that how, that's how it goes with my body type. But look at that. I'll see some redness here. Some redness here. Now, there was no cuts or weepers. Just a little bit of irritation. But it, it, it hurts over here. And it's like, man, what did I do wrong? I need to reevaluate. Maybe I'll rewatch this video and look at my technique and... See if I can figure it out. So, all right, on that note, sorry guys, got a little into it. The bowl, when you're done, you take it apart, looks like this. I use my brush when I'm done rinsing it to get all the lather that could possibly be down here in between the O-ring and this part when it sticks in here. But it goes in like this, and that's how I lather it. And when you're done drying it and you want to store it and you want to take less space. Nice little mushroom. So it's like that. So. Smiles for not smiles for miles. A TRC brush. I'll, if I find if I can find the stuff, there will be links for it below. Barbus Sport, kind of a shower gel scent. That's pretty good. And everybody, check out BBS Live. If you're using a bowl and you do shave of the days, hashtag bowl week for BBS Live, man. So, uh, hope everybody has a great week, and I'll catch you this weekend.